everyone, this is Vickerman, and here's my wife, Danielle. Hi. And we're going to be playing some Dwarf Fortress together. And uh, we're doing this because she knows much more than I do, so it'll be more interesting to have her here. Um, so we, uh, we did do an advanced World Gen tutorial video, mm -hmm. uh, which is a separate video. We'll link that in the description. Uh, but this time we're just going to be playing the actual game. Uh, and for time purposes, I'm not, not going to use Advanced World Gen this time. For time purposes. <laughs> you just don't like all the cool tricks I showed you. <laughs> no, I like the tricks. It's just... I like, uh, I like the sense of discovery of not knowing <laughs> a lot of things that you have set, you know. Uh, okay. So we'll just do a regular Create a World. Now, this pack is 40.24. Uh, mm -hmm. So this has the new uh, date, the mining priorities, which the last time I played was 40.19. So I haven't messed with the dating priorities at all, so that'll be fun to see. When was the last time you played? you remember? Uh, like 40.16, something like that. I may adjust the zoom level as we go. Okay, so you even if you're not doing an advanced world gen, you do have several options here. Um, I think we'll do medium world and short history. Uh, I'll just keep that stuff medium. Savagery. Hmm. What do you think? We want unicorns to be high. <laughs> Like a savage world. Okay. Uh, and far as far as minerals, probably want frequent. Seems to be enough, but not too many. Is that too many minerals? Has a dwarf ever gone? I have too many minerals. <laughs> well, you miss out on the the trading meta game if you have everything. You know, oh, the, the like world actually needing things, the, to needing things to trade. Needing things from the trader. Well, so I just give them offerings to show off my wealth. I don't need anything in return. So here we go, and okay, there's sound now. Um, sound says. Uh, so let's see. It's probably a little high. Okay, I think that will work. What is a short history in standard world gen? What's that? You are really loud. <laughs> <laughs> so what is a short history in standard world gen? How long is it? Yeah. Uh, I said 125 years. Okay. The dimension of winds. That's cool. What? Wouldn't there just land there? Where? Am I going insane? Or did that... Huh? What? I thought that was all land and now it's all ocean. Or does it just zoom in on a different place? Uh, probably. It goes around to different places as it goes. See, I never gen long enough to even notice. <laughs> I'm so paranoid about FPS. This music's kind of something else. <laughs> you can't hear it, but no. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Is that a good something else? <laughs> well, the, the music here is not the original game. It's the sound sense utility that adds sound and more than the one track that's in the actual game. Hey, it's a good track. It is. Okay, so... Um, So here's the world that we created, the dimensions of wind, and oh my, looks like a very long continent. Yeah. With some oceans and another one. This seems huge. This is just medium size. It uh, seems bigger. Okay. So we accept it. We accept. 
And now we offload the units. Try to say that like you know what that means. <laughs> Someone knows what it means. And we should say we are using the DF starter pack. Yeah, it's the new DF starter pack from Paradaxis Arant. I think that's you how you said it. it. Yeah. We'll have all that in there in the description. Yeah, we're going to use Mayday tile set. Yeah, there's a bunch of options on there if you get it. and it has diff slightly different graphics. Without that, you have basically just uh, ASCII uh, text graphics. So, okay. Now that the world's made, we can do Start Playing. And there's three different modes, Dwarf Fortress, Adventurer, and Legends. The main uh, version of the game is the Dwarf Fortress mode. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll do Adventure sometime. Yeah, I've always... I feel bad that I've never even tried it, which seems so intimidating. It's different. Instead of running the whole town, you're just one person wandering around the world. It's th it's th really the rogue-like part of Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so now we get to choose a location. So. What kind of location do we want? Well, we had talked about taming unicorns and such. <laughs> war unicorns. <laughs> I don't. I wonder if they're war trainable by default, or if you have to mod the raws. I've only seen them. I've never trapped them. That means you need a joyous wilds. You should probably search. Yeah, you should probably search. So that's what. I can't do it without my hands on the keyboard. Uh, is it? Is it S? No. No. Oh, F. It's F. Find desired location. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta use the right word. Uh-huh. Okay. So we need high savagery? Yes, and we need... No evil? Low evil, yes. I believe that should be correct. Oh, crap. We didn't turn off aquifers, did we? Yeah, we did. Before we started? Yeah. I turned them off. Okay, good. I don't like aquifers. There is, if you forget and you don't want aquifers, there is a dwarf hack command to drain aquifers. Maybe I'll give you the the readme, and you can link that to dwarf hack. But okay, so now we search for the joyous wilds, if there are any. A lot of blue, so probably. Say so this starter pack that we're using um, is has DF hack. 2040.24 R0, and it's zero because some of the plugins don't work yet. Some of the standard plugins. I'm not really sure which ones, so mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see. But it's mostly operational. Looks like it's found some matches. I don't see any more blue, so I'm guessing that there will be no more. So I'm going to stop the search. Okay. Okay, where am I? Whoop. Uh, browse results. Okay. Where am I? You're the, the yellow blinking X. You see yourself? Yes. So we want to go. This is one, right? Oh, I see. See on the read? Yeah. Joyous wilds, heavily forested, scorching, scorching temperature. Uh oh. All the water oh. will evaporate if it's scorching. Does it really? If it's like little pools and stuff, it does. Well, this probably be cold here. If you have the temperature turned on, you can turn it off, but... What's this? Cold, joyous, badlands. See, there's no trees. That's not good. What about... What well, I mean, it depends on your definition of good. This is all ice. <laughs> it's a glacier. Oh my. Didn't know you could live on it, but it's somehow it's a joyous wilds. <laughs> Let's check over here to see if it's a little less hot. I don't. I mean. I mean, hot seems to be okay. Hot is probably better than scorching, right? Probably so. The enjoyable skin is the name of the brook. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> The Swamp of Luxury. Oh. It seems auspicious. Tropical Freshwater Swamp. 
thick vegetation, that heavily is joyous forested. wilds. So that's probably going to be easier for the start. And we, we got, got shallow metals and deep metals and clay and deep soil and flux. Seems like a good location. Yes. So should we pick our specific spot? Yeah. So, so is we want part of the river, I assume? Is that this UMK mm -hmm. garbage? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's capital UMKH to resize it and then lowercase oh, to move it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all coming back to you now? Sort of. Well, it gets a little scorching that way. We want to stay so, away from the scorching. And you'll see in some places at the bottom now we're getting where, into you're, a different where you're location. going over it, it will have different biomes. Mm -hmm. Like some are across two biomes. So that is across that will two. Have, which means we can have a wider variety of creatures across two biomes. Isn't it two there? Yeah. Yeah. See, see at the bottom it says F1, F2. If you toggle. Oh, so that's and one. And then do the other one. See? If you look over, so that one's the Joyous Wilds. Now press the other one. And that's Untamed Wilds. Oh. You see? Uh, go away. Do you want to see the elevation? Do you care about elevation or anything like that? Can you see that? Yes, tab. Press tab. Okay, see? So now we, we see our neighbors. Tab again. Just goblins? Is that what that means? No, that means that they're hostile because they have the red line. But we have all our neighbors. Civilizations? Oh, lots of dwarven civilizations. Those... Keep going. Uh, so this is usually the most helpful for seeing your elevation. So that's nice. So we have a little bit of very. Mm-hmm. Looks like some hills. Mm-hmm. I always like to be able to dig into the side of a mountain. I prefer the, the joyous wild stuff, so I'll get a little, mostly that, and then a little bit of this here, the untamed wilds. Does that seem good? That seems, that seems good. Seems Is that like, do you want it that size, four by four? You can, you can make a different size too. Is that a good size? Uh, it's a fine. It's maybe a little. If you're at all concerned about FPS, it's maybe a little big. You, you'd still have plenty of space if you want three by three. Or sometimes I go like two by four or something like that. But four by yeah, four by four is sixteen. I think I thought standard was three by three. I, don't well, know. I haven't changed anything. Yeah, so. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm remembering wrong or if it was changed. I'm gonna tab to see if you still have elevation. Tab again. Yeah, you got variety. I like to have both sides of the river so I can build a little bridge. Well, this is a brook, so you don't technically need a bridge. Oh. I remember, though, one of my very first forts, it was a river, and my poor migrants died stranded on the other side of the river because they couldn't cross. Yeah. Well, in that case, we can do it like that. That'll give us more land, so more interesting things, probably. Okay. Across two biomes. Sounds delightful. Joyous, actually. <laughs> Oh, okay, so oh. now we gotta prepare for the journey. Carefully. Well, oh, of course. Now, what should I do? Well, are you of the two minor school or the three minor school? I mean, I've always taken just two. Especially since I, if I do advanced world gen, usually give myself some extra points, and then I take three minors, because you can afford the picks. Mm -hmm. But with only the standard points, two is probably okay. Now you're going to look at their little details and decide who's best for what job. <laughs> Zephon Umstiz Feb. Uh, here. Art is life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because these descriptions have been reworked in some That's of true. the recent patches. I don't think I've seen it like this. He's very strong. That's a good for a miner. His hair is greasy. Oh, well. His pelt. Pale pink skin is slightly wrinkled. I wonder does it tell you if they're gay or straight in the description now? Because now they, now they have s orientations, but I don't know if you can see it here. He holds crafts dwarfship to be of the highest ideals and celebrates talented artisans in their masterworks. 
<laughs> he personally thinks that the entire concept of sacrifice for others is truly disgusting. It and is, is put, put off, off by a family. family. <laughs> yeah. He dream, dreams of creating a great work of art. Well. He's strong, but it doesn't seem like he wants to be a miner. He seems like he oh, wants to you, be a craft store. You're worried about his hopes and dreams? No. But he has little spatial sense, I think. Mm, not great for crafting. Wait, what's going on? You're... This takes some getting... See, oh, now you have him I'm hitting the wrong button. That's what's going on. I get so jealous sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that first line is new. Her hair is clean shaven. She's incredibly but also Auburn. <laughs> she is incredibly tough. That's good for a miner. Or a soldier. She, she has is... very bad analytical abilities and lousy creativity. That sounds like a miner to me. <laughs> she personally doesn't see cooperation as valuable. <laughs> she dreams of mastering a skill. Well, how about mining? You can master that. Let's do it. How much should I give her? Uh, max. Well, it depends. Some people, like, mining does train really fast. So some mm -hmm. people, if they want to save their points, you know, won't even give any points. You just assign it in therapist. Mm -hmm. But I always just give max. Depends. We're not on a hard embark. So if Proficient I could, is a max? Yeah. You can, so you can choose to give the other points or not. I usually don't on my miners. Because they're busy in the beginning. To give them other stuff. Mm -hmm. What about Zasset? Never forget now true you, loyalty. You want, you want to keep a... Are we going to make a military dwarf to start with or not? That's always a question. Uh. No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> Is that bad? Uh, it could be bad. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> um, okay. So we are in the Savage Wilds. Maybe we should. Well, it, I mean, it depends. How, how you feel? I mean, because they can be wasted, too. Well, maybe we'll give somebody some abilities. And give them something else, too? Yeah. She doesn't value skills related to fighting, so it shouldn't be her. No. But kinesthetic sense and feel for surrounding space could be a mason. Mm hmm. Okay, mason. Do you put max on this, too? It depends on how you feel. Sure. Should I make them, sometimes I like my mason also the mechanic. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, that's not that important, so I'll just give him one. Mm -hmm. Cog sack. <laughs> oh my, that's so rude. <laughs> yes, I want more, is that so bad? <laughs> Very strong and rarely sick, but she is flimsy and quite clumsy. Great feel for so social relationships. She sounds like a good leader. Mm -hmm. Well, but she patience. dislikes cooperation. Well, she she doesn't need cooperation. She <laughs> rules with an iron fist. She's just the micromanager. Mm hmm. So that are we gonna work. make her our the leader? So basically, the bookkeeper by default becomes the leader. So what do I need? What appraiser? Yes, you need at least one judgment tent for trading. If you're gonna make them like. The all-in-one person for now. Uh -huh. uh, uh, record, record keeper. keeper. Organize? No, I've never done that. Those are the three that will help you with the administrative duties from the beginning. Leader. I don't know what that does, but she's a novice leader. Probably make her more likely to be elected mayor. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully she's not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Can one of your starting seven be a vampire? I don't I, think I don't so. Know. I don't know. I could be wrong, though. Hobak. Pearl Delec. An artisan, their materials and the tools to shape oh. them. But he has meager creativity. <laughs> Very, oh, he just seems like a hot mess. He's got no real skills. <laughs> Great kinesthetic sense. What does that mean? Uh... 
I don't remember particularly exactly, but that's usually associate like good for carpentry, mason, making things basically. Let's make him the carpenter. You make him the woodcutter too. Yeah. Ah, uh, just do well, novice yeah. and carpenter. Okay. Lacot. I'm fine. <laughs> Has a sum of patience, but has poor empathy and very bad analytical skills. He's not very useful either, is he? He thinks that introspection is valueless. You know what he's not, not very useful people? Farmer. People who are just completely unremarkable make them farmers. <laughs> he's going to have plenty of time for that introspection <laughs> that he hates so much. I don't know. Competence probably okay. The better they are, the not only the faster they are, the more food they get out of it. Oh, so it is kind of important. Now, are you going to give him... Brewer and cook? You probably won't get around to actually cooking anything until migrants come. But sometimes I give it to him, too, anyway. Just depends. Brewing is important, though. Although it, the skill of brewing only affects speed right now. But I, I like to add it for feel. I don't want some schlup brewer giving my dwarves their alcohol. Here we go. Grower, herbalist, brewer, and cook. He'll be busy. Good. <laughs> no lollygagging. <laughs> Work hard. All right. <laughs> Is this another miner? He's a mate. No, this guy. We can't waste him. Great, amazing spatial sense. Great creativity. Very good sense of position of body and some of... This guy, we have to make him craft things. Crafts dwarf. Or... Or maybe he should be the mason. Who did I make the mason? This person? Yeah. Should we also give him, like, crafts dwarf skills as well? Uh, it depends how much you think you're going to use him. If, you're, if he's going to be masoning a lot in the beginning, I would just leave him the mason. Well, what I generally will do is give, like, wood, uh, wood, wood crafting skills to the carpenter and stone crafting skills to the mason. Okay. We can make the mechanic, too. Oh! Okay, finish this. Um, building designer. Mm hmm I usually give that to the, uh... To the bookkeeper, but you don't have to. But we need to give it to someone, probably. Mm -hmm. A gelder. Yeah, they had a guild. He's at a gelding. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if it's... I haven't experimented with it, but I have heard, you know, that you can actually go in and see, like, a description about your animals. And I have heard that there is some kind of genetics, so... If you had like a giant, uh, like a giant, I guess ox aren't in Dwarf Fortress, are they? A giant mm. reindeer. <laughs> you could, with gelding, you could like geld all your pathetic small reindeer so that only the big strong reindeer bred. And then you could build like <laughs> a race of giant strong reindeer <laughs> that give you more meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got these two people we haven't done anything with. So we need one more miner. I don't know. Should it be her or uh, him? He's very strong. Probably him. He's an artist, though. He'll be heartbroken. Yeah. That's how great art comes about. What should she, should she do? Should she, she, should she do? What should she do? Do we have a building designer? No. Should we make her the catch-all? Give her some crafting abilities? or? Well, I did put wood crafting and stone crafting on the... Mason and the carpenter. Okay. Well, I mean, some people like to do smithing at the beginning, but I never even take an anvil at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I always wait till the first caravan. Depends what you're going to do. What about like a trapper? Oh, a hunt. 
trap or hunting? Do you? I never. We get fish. I never use hunting because they always wander off and get killed. They feel like bad little children to me, always wandering off. But I know, yeah. I know that a lot of people like hunting a lot. We got a brook, so should we do fishing? Uh, it's up to you. Or maybe some military. Give her some abilities, so maybe we have a chance of defending ourselves. When she can haul crap, when maybe some animal training type of things. If we do have ambitions of war unicorns. Someone should have experience. It's true. Care animal caretaker. I don't think does anything right now. Oh, I'm pretty sure. So. Okay, and while we're at it, let's do the hunting, maybe. Is that this? Amber, I feel like there's, n I mean, that is associated, yes. That will help them sneak up on things. Is there also... Hunting skill? I'm trying to picture, well, you can pull it up, pull up Dwarf, ther dwarf Therapist, you can see. Art... Hunting, yeah, that's I thought so. This is a labor. It's not a skill. You mean I can't assign it here? I've never tried to, I guess. Do you see it anywhere? Mm. I guess I don't. Huh. But they can gain skill in it. It's weird. Crossbow. Okay. I think that will work. Okay. So now, okay, now don't do what I have done what? more times than I care to admit. Just go. Accidentally embark and not and forget to go over to the item screen. Well, do we want to give these other people some more skills? The miners? Well, I wouldn't, but you can. They're going to be busy. Yeah, let's just skip that. So tab for items. Two picks. Axes. Well, do you? They can. Sh they can chop down trees with a wooden axe. <laughs> There's a little cheater tip for you. <laughs> Only use like seven points. Uh, here we. Go. No wait. Are we gonna take an anvil or not? Mmm, training. Yeah. Saguaro rib training axe? Yep, that will work for cutting down trees. It won't chop any goblins in half, that's but... Made of, that's made out of what? bone, isn't it? No, I think it's a kind of tree. I could be wrong. You do a lemon wood axe. What do you need two of them for? I suppose no reason. <laughs> okay. I... I would get more, bring more food. <laughs> and more. Goat heart. Sounds delicious. I love a good goat heart in the morning. Pond turtle. Pond helmets. Pond helmets cost more than regular food. Well, yes, but I do want to plant them, you see. Well, I know, but then you just get seeds. Dimple cup spawn? You can trade for that later. That doesn't give any food. Now you need to get rid of some of the stuff because you're like out of points. Like what? Uh, get rid of all of the buckets, splints, crutches, wheelbarrows, step ladders. 
because that's just wood. You can make it really easily, and they're expensive. Okay. Quiver, we only need one, right? Because we have one person coming with us. We don't have a crossbow, though. That's true. Or any true. bolts. Well, we can try and make some as soon as possible, or we can bring some. It's a lot of buildings you have to make to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Copper. And we want some bolts. Mm -hmm. That is costing us like 60 points right now. Well, how many do you think I should bring? Honestly, they're. Exp you should probably make them, but. I'll take some to get started. Okay. So, I like. I'd bring a. You probably don't need all of that cloth. I would get rid of some of that and then bring a little bit of silk in case someone gets a mood. Also a piece of glass, in case someone gets a mood. <laughs> someone gets a mood. If you don't know what we're talking about, uh, dwarves can enter strange moods, and then they demand certain materials, and then they create a masterwork. And that's really great, because it's worth a lot, of a lot of money, and they get a lot of skill gains from making that masterwork. Uh, but if they don't have the specific thing that they desire, they go insane. <laughs> <laughs> Start punching babies, literally. <laughs> and your fortress just spirals into death and tantruming. Okay, animals. Wait, did you add silk? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you need the ropes either. Or at least we'll need one. Because you can make that once you get a little cloth. So what kind of animals do you want to bring? Turkeys. You're of the turkey school, are you? Yeah. Turkeys are the most efficient for egg gathering. They produce the most consistently high amount of eggs. And However, they can make leather. And they can make leather. However, chickens mature in only one year, while turkeys take two. So if you're more interested in leather, chickens are probably better. They have leather too? Chickens? Yeah. Yeah. You have to be careful, though. Um, like uh, the other birds... Some only give leather sometimes, or not at all, depending on their size. Mm -hmm. But turkeys are safe with, and I'm pretty sure chickens always give leather, too. Well, let's do chickens, then. I didn't know all that. Turkeys give more meat, but, yeah, they do take two years to mature. Did I miss the chickens? We need a cat. Don't go by the cat. For hunting vermin. Just one? Yeah. People bring more cats as pets. <laughs> Chicken. Something like that? Mm -hmm. Six hens, one rooster? Mm hmm. Okay. So. Some dogs? Well, if we don't have much of a military to speak of, it'd probably be good. A hunting dog can save your butt from that early ambusher. And do we want a war dog also? Oh, a hunting. Are you going to assign the hunting dog to the person? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So now what other kind of livestock do we want? Well, we got some points. Goats are cheap and can give milk. And then, but sheep are nice because for wool uh -huh. and milk. Of course, now that he introduced uh, orientation to the game, your animals can be not just homosexual, but asexual. So then you get unlucky, and you just, yeah. you got like two gay pigs who just will not <laughs> impregnate your sow, and it's just very frustrating. <laughs> pigs are good for, um, I guess they're kind of expensive. 
Yeah, they're, they're, these are all pretty expensive. Pigs are nice if you're going somewhere where you're not going to have a lot of safe grazing area because you can keep them inside. Oh. So. That's kind of nice. Yeah. They don't eat or anything? Nope, they don't eat. <laughs> That's ironic. Yeah. Uh, maybe let's take some sheep. Okay. So a ram and a ewe. Mm -hmm. That's really all I can afford. So now you can afford, you can afford one goat. Or six chickens is a lot. Is it? They, you, you, you wind up in eggs pretty fast. Four? Do you want a, ch what are you thinking? What do you want? I don't know. If you could probably get rid of a few points elsewhere and get like two goats. Like uh, that. So now you need 13 more points. I would get rid of some of those bags, maybe. I mean, you always need more bags late in game. You can never keep up with it. But in the beginning, it's not too big a deal. I would just hope those goats are straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got one point. Let's have another. You have a lot less booze than I usually take. Hmm, yeah. So, we're going to have to get on that food right away. Okay. Okay. We shouldn't starve, hopefully. Name the fortress. Ink chanced. Relief for <laughs> Oh my, chucked sword. Beauty merchant. <laughs> Word whips. <laughs> Tangle rough. <laughs> That's charming. <laughs> Pointed anvils. Road fortunes. Craft holy. <laughs> what is that? Nets? Tokes or net stokes? I thought it was net strokes. <laughs> Master fountains. Oh. Ah, okay. We have to build a fountain now. Yes. A waterfall, <laughs> perhaps, through the main dining yeah. hall. The Sepia Door. This is the name of the group. The Sacks of Infamy. <laughs> sure. Okay. All done. Embark. No, yeah, I got one more point. Oh. Let's get a plum helmet spawn. You're going to be buried in those. <laughs> so? Well, let's do a pigtail. Let's see. <laughs> Go. You're here. So we break. Yeah. <laughs> it's playing a sound. Sound. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of this episode. We'll have to uh, continue ac actually starting the fortress in the next episode. So we'll hope that to see you then. Bye.